G'day, Josh here with a very exciting Chess Rush video. This is early access server uh, content that I'm bringing you. So thank you to Tencent for providing me access to this server so I can show all of the upcoming changes in the brand new update that is about to hit, starting with a brand new goblin. We do lose totem face, unfortunately, but we do now have Head Reaper, a three star goblin, sorry, a three cost goblin assassin. You can see his animations there at the different star ratings, which are really, really cool the way he animates in there and cuts himself off that rope. And that is linked to his ability, which we will jump in and have a quick look at. So death from above, he uses a hook to temporarily leave the battlefield, then descends from above to strike the enemy with the lowest HP, dealing physical damage equal to 240, 300, 360% of attack damage, depending on his star rating. If the target's HP is below 30%, this ability will deal three times as much damage. If this ability then kills the target, 80% of cooldown and 80 mana will be returned, which means you can chain that ability, which is pretty incredible as well. Uh, Three-star version of him has 7,200 HP, 900 attack damage, uh, armor is 20, magic resistance is 0, attack speed is 1.2, and attack range is 1. Uh, the lower star ratings will, of course, have less, but I will save those for you to discover when the update hits. I won't reveal uh, every single thing. I'll talk about every single thing, but I will leave some for you to discover as well. Now, we've jumped into the quiz here. You'll notice that the quiz requires you to spend a stamp to activate the quiz, and you have two of them in the bottom right remaining and it costs you one, and they re they uh, restore themselves every 30 minutes. So you can come back in and do a quiz every 30 minutes. So we're going to start off with by doing two. So let's jump in. Let's spend a ticket there. The race of that hero is definitely Demon. Uh, then we have which heroes belong to this race? Goblin So. I'm looking for Berserker is our goblin that, that applies to this race. Uh, let me just cut through to the end here. Okay, so we're up to the final question. Uh, Venom is an assassin, so that is our final answer. And how did we do? We did 10 out of 10. So we answered 10 correct questions, which gets us half of the way towards the uh, chest. So we can unlock some coins. And if you do the more and more and more, you can unlock some other things as well, including a little secret in that last chest that once again, I will let you discover when the update hits. Uh, but that is a nice little customization available in that final chest. If you are able to answer 800 correct questions, obviously that will take a, a period of time, but uh, definitely something to, that it's worth grinding towards. All right, next up, we have guilds. This is one of the things that I'm most excited for. So this is a, the guild list on the test server, and let's go ahead and create our own guild now. We'll call it uh, Forkatosh Gaming just for this video. Enter in a guild motto. Uh, let's do have fun playing chess rush. That sounds good. Get that working. All right, so you can also... On the top right, before we confirm this notice, you can change your guild icons. And I did drop a video on those guild icons recently. Uh, and also it's worth noting that creating a guild isn't free. It does cost you some vouchers. So keep that in mind. You're not gonna be able to spam a whole bunch of guilds. Uh, and joining a guild might be a better option for a lot of people. So this is a quick look at our guild data here. Activity this week, season activity, rank within guild. Uh, all sorts of various rewards available as well. Obviously, you need more people in the guild to accomplish most of those. Here's some guild information. Only me as uh, the only guild member at this point. Guild quests are available as well. Uh, so that gives you a brief overview of what's available in some of those chests. And then finally, your guild ranking. Uh, so that'll be really interesting to dive into that. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail at this point. Uh, but once guilds are up and running, uh, definitely looking forward to experiencing all that they have to offer. Next up in the quests view, we have Guru's Trials. So you can see that, or Guru's Trial. You see that on the bottom left there. This is another set of uh, in-game challenges. So basically, if you can achieve six riders and three hunters in a game, you will have earned or completed this quest. 
Uh, I believe that these will reset at some point and you can actually refresh this one now. So I'm not sure if they'll always be too available for you to try and accomplish or whether it'll be a daily reset. We will have to wait and determine that in game. Here's another example of another uh, trial. And there's also the, uh, the harder to achieve, but it does pay out a little bit more. This one pays out uh, 10,000 gold. I think the other one was only 1,000 gold. So there are different difficulty level quests there as well. Next up, we have the ability to jump into a custom room as an observer. You'll notice that there are four slots on the bottom left. You can actually go into any sort of custom room and observe that room and not take up any space or not have to uh, be friends with someone that's participating. So really, really handy for tournament creators, myself especially. Really looking forward to being able to take advantage of that feature uh, when casting tournaments. Next up, we have a brand new game mode called Treasure Raider. Now, Treasure Raider is a similar concept in that you're going through and you're playing a classic style game with a big difference in the way that items work. And you'll notice that as we jump in and battle the creeps in the first round. So I will just go and skip through to beating the creeps at the end of round one. You can see that we have a victory dice that appears on the board and you're able to go ahead and choose a brand new item you can choose one of those three you have a couple of rounds to make that choice and so you'll see here that uh, i do my regular game stuff and then i go ahead and i open up that item chest again and i'm able to have a look at the brand new items we've got veterans braces blocks 30 physical damage fanatics charm increases attack damage by 50 and gains 15 percent lifesteal and rejuvenation increases max hp by 750 also restores 40 hp every second now there are more items in this i'm not sure how many new items we've got but you go ahead and you choose one of those items uh, in this case, I go ahead and I choose Fanatic's Charm. And then just like regular, you do equip that to a hero. With one thing, if we hit pause there real quick, you'll notice that heroes now, once again, like they used to, have three equipment slots, which is fantastic. So that's going to be really, really good moving forward. Now let's jump ahead to the end of the next round. Now we've got Lone Wolf Helmet, Vapor Blade, and Dissolving Staff to choose from this time around. Once again, all doing brand new things. Feel free to pause the video and read there if you like. So we go ahead and choose Lone Wolf Staff. Now we're looking at the start of the first PvP round. And I want to show you this for a very interesting reason. There is a change to the way battles happen in game. You no longer play a copy of your opponent's board. You'll notice on the right hand side, everyone is paired up into a little battle and you are playing on one board. So I'm matched up against All Kokri, which is just a bot because it's a test server. And you'll notice that All Kokri is also matched up against me. So whoever's side you're watching it from, we're watching the same battle happen. And this is happening all the way down for every set of four. I'm yet to determine exactly how this works when people start getting eliminated, but I'm definitely looking forward to the update hitting so we can jump in and figure out exactly how that plays out. Now, you also may have noticed updated class and race icons in the top left, and every hero, if you're looking at the DPS chart, every hero has an updated icon as well. And the one uh, final change to heroes or classes specifically is that knights are now the term to replace riders. So riders is the old term, knights is the new term that has been updated there. I'll just cut through to round 15 in this game and you'll notice that we have some new enemies that we're up against in the creep round. So we actually have the harpies in round 15, brand new heroes. I didn't play much longer after round 15 on the test server, so I don't know just how many new enemy creeps are waiting for us. But once again, it's going to be a ton of fun to jump in and discover that as the update hits. And the final thing that I want to touch on is an update to the friends list. The friends list now will actually increase from 100 up to 400, depending on what level you are. So as every level you increase all the way up to 30, you will unlock more and more friends in the friends list. So that is a definitely quite useful for people that ha like having a lot of friends because they're no longer capped at 100. They can go well and above that. So just to recap everything that I went through in this video, we have a brand new hero replacing totem face a new goblin assassin 
That goblin assassin is, of course, called Head Reaper, and he has a really cool new ability as well. Uh, riders are now called Knights. The class, race, and hero icons have all been updated. We have hero stats, which is fantastic in the hero book, as well as a hero quiz, which is really fun. Uh, one of the biggest updates has been Guild, so that's going to be a brand new way to interact with the game with your friends. I cannot wait for that to drop. We have a brand new game mode in Treasure Raiders, just to mix things up a bit. It's a new casual game mode. Uh, you can now equip three items to heroes like you used to be able to. Head-to-head uh, -head battles in all game modes now. You're no longer playing copies of, people bo of people's boards. You're playing them directly. Brand new creeps in creep rounds. We have Guru's Trial in the quest section. The ability to have more friends. And finally, observer seats in custom rooms. So this has been an incredibly comprehensive, or this will be an incredibly comprehensive update when it does drop. This has been my overview to everything that is coming. I cannot wait. Uh, what I want to know from you is what you're most excited about. So please let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And until next time, I'll see you later.